Hey guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five TikToks that will keep you up at night. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, click the subscribe button down below and turn my post notifications so you would never miss a video. I post every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We love spooky Sundays around here. And other than that, let's just get right on into the video. Our first TikTok is by the user D Madagian, and this guy has a haunted closet. I really don't think I'm ever gonna be able to skip this shit. Listen to it. Listen to that pedaling. Jesus. I mean, this is my whole closet right here. It's my kitchen. So this guy lives in a haunted apartment, or at least lives in an apartment with a haunted closet. In the caption of the video I just showed you, it says, when you live in a building built in 1932, odds are it's haunted. I'll be honest, when I first saw this video at the beginning, I first thought it was satire. And then I went to his profile and that's when I saw a bunch of other videos and he has a compilation video that went viral. And it's just occurrence after occurrence after occurrence and it's always coming from the closet. He even has a camera inside the closet at one point and you can see that there's no one in there and he's filming when he goes to open the closet. So there's a camera from both sides and there's nothing in there. I just, I honestly would recommend giving a look through his profile because I mean, he also has a tiny apartment. Like if someone's hiding in there and faking this thing with him, I don't know where they'd hide. Like it's a tiny, looks like city looking apartment. Listen, I broke my lease one time and it was a huge pain and cost me so much money. So I'd like to say that I'd never do that again. But if I was having someone, like someone or something, banging at the inside of my closet door at all hours of the night, I'm breaking that lease. Like there's, the fact that this guy's staying in there, not a chance. That is probably one of the freakiest things I've seen. Like it actually gave me chills the first time I watched it. Props to that guy for staying in that apartment because I would be out of there so fast. The next video is by the user NotXH2 and their Airbnb listing came with a surprise. So in this Airbnb, at first, the room was completely normal and you could see them going towards a completely normal looking door. But when they open it up, it's like a completely different world. Dirty old brick, barely any lighting in there, looks like a prison. And their caption of their video says, left the next morning because we kept hearing noises. There was more to it, part two, question mark. Which I'll show you the part two in a second. But I'm already blown away by the fact that they stayed after finding that. Like, again, I would be out of there. Like, even if I'm with other people, there's no way I'm staying the night there. There's an unlisted room. Like, who knows if there's some secret entrance from somewhere else in the property and people are like sneaking in there to like rob you or kidnap you. Like, you never know with like trafficking things these days. Better to be safe than sorry. I would not stay there. So the fact that they stayed the night and said that they left in the morning because they were hearing noises at night, I would have left before I had a chance to hear any noises. Anyway, so the part two to this, they ventured in there, which if you've ever seen any horror movie ever, you would know that that is so stupid. But at the same time, I'm glad they did because I want to see from a safe distance.
what is it? Why do you have this in your house? And I, I mean, there's a reasonable explanation, like there's reasonable explanations, like definitely could be like an older house and it's just like a weird outdated part that they haven't redone yet. There, there could be nothing fishy, like it could be just haunted because it's an old house and that's why they're hearing noises, but like nothing dangerous. But it's still like, it's so weird, like this fully furnished, like nice looking room and then a door that opens to that. Like it's not even like a basement space, it's like in a bedroom. But it gets even better because the caption says, couldn't keep going in because the floor wasn't stable. One of the rooms floor had wood that you could lift up and it goes down to a room. Like a literal dungeon inside of a dungeon. Like honestly, it reminds me of some of those crazy little listings I've seen on TikTok. Cause like, what is this? What What's the purpose? Why is this here? I, I applaud them for being brave enough to check that out. But also like, that's incredibly stupid. Like with the amount of things I've heard about Airbnbs and like hidden cameras and them watching you, if I found another room, I'd be terrified it was like a trafficking scheme. That it's like there's tunnels and they're gonna sneak up there and kidnap me in the middle of the night. I have a wild imagination, but also like better safe than sorry, you know? So I mean, kudos to them for being brave enough to check that out. But also like, I really wanna know just like what's the purpose? Why, why is that there? I feel like if it was a completely normal like we just haven't renovated this weird part of the old house yet thing. Like, they should have locked it so guests couldn't find it. Because, like, what did they think was going to happen? Someone's just going to stumble across it and be like, yeah, that's normal. I'm going to stay here another night. The fact that they even stayed one night is crazy to me. Well, let me know what you guys think that is and if you would still stay there. Oh, what makes it creepier <laughs> is that the part two has 666,000 views. <laughs> The next TikTok is by the user Pretty FN Spooky. And this girl, she found a pretty creepy haunted painting at the thrift store. And in this TikTok I'm gonna show you, it has like the backstory of the things that have been happening. But first she shows it under a black light. I can't help but give people what they want and the people want a black light on my haunted painting. Luckily for you, I actually have a black light. I have a black light because I have these crystals that glow. A new black light. Anyway, um, okay, I'm gonna turn off my flash and we'll see what happens. All right, here he is. Let's look it over. You know, I get a little nervous every any time. Every time and any time I've made a video about this painting, things start to act up. Um, a while back, I gave it some water, um, like I gave it an offering. And I kind of made a deal with it because it was doing a lot of like kind of really crazy stuff. Stuff was falling off the walls. Um, we were hearing footsteps. It was a little intense. So I like made a deal and I was like, you can stay here, but you can't do that, you know? Um, so we made a deal and it's been pretty good. But anytime I make a video or like acknowledge him, then it kind of acts up, which is fine. I'm fine with that. But um, yeah, it is a little unsettling. <laughs> Every time, this kind of looks like a face, sort of. Do you see that? Anyway, I'm backing away, <laughs> if you can tell. Okay, we're backing over to the light. And then I've got this guy over. Oh my god. Stop. What? I did not <laughs> expect that at all. She says that she got this painting from a thrift store. Um, in a previous video, she said that she got it because it felt like someone wanted to be seen. I get helping someone out, but if I'm getting a creepy vibe from something, I'm not bringing it into my home. In fact, I'm actually in the market for a thrift store painting that I want to put just like right on this like big wall that I have here. But I'm not looking for a haunted one. I like, I, I so admire people who bring home haunted objects because like bringing that into your home, crazy to me. And I love thrifting. I like, I've especially really gotten into it recently, but I would not bring home something that feels weird or off because I'd like, I don't want that in my home. I love spooky stuff so much. So fascinated by it, but not in my home. So I'm always mind blown when I see people with like haunted objects and like they voluntarily bring it into their home and keep it there after things happen. 
She says that she gave this painting an offering because it was acting up and she's afraid of interacting with it and taking videos because then it acts up. That's so freaky. But also like, can we talk about how freaky that the painting looks to begin with? I can't get over the fact that she had to make it an offering to like not do bad stuff and then she still keeps it in her house. So creepy, but also really cool. What do you guys think? Would you keep a haunted painting in your house? I just, I like my piece, you know? Our next TikTok is by the user Tiff's Ghost Talk. And this girl's brother saw a skinwalker. This is a story about the time my brother saw a skinwalker and didn't react like a normal person would. I grew up in a haunted house and I tell stories of things that happened to me and my family members and friends. And this is the story about my brother and the night that a skinwalker was in his yard. It's important to know that I overreact and my brother completely underreacts. He calls me, he's just very like chill and he said, hey, I just saw like the weirdest thing in my yard. Um, I'm gonna tell you about it and you tell me what you think. So I'm like, okay, what'd you see? Like, what was it? And he said, well, there was a helicopter flying over my house, which is normal, that happens a lot around here. And I said, okay, yeah, and? And he said, well, they had the spotlight out and they were shining it on my front door. It was weird. So I go to the front door and I'm looking at them and they're looking at me and then they just kind of circle around a little bit and then they leave. So I figure that something must be outside if they're out there like circling, like what were they looking for? So now he's got my attention because I'm like, what were they looking for? And he lives out in the country, but not like way out in the country. Like he lives on a main like road, right? And he has neighbors and stuff, but he's still, it's kind of like out in the middle of nowhere. So of course he takes his when he goes outside, right? Well, it has a light on it. So he said he's like scanning around looking when he lands on this thing. What kind of thing? I don't know. It was weird. Just that sentence alone already had me like on high alert because for Grant to say something's weird, and I knew it was about to be really weird. So he starts to describe it. So when the light hits it, it's on all fours, right? But it has like glowing eyes and its face looked like a human face kind of, and it had no hair on it. And it was like this slick, wet looking thing. Me being me that knows everything about like ghosts and paranormal and weird stuff, I immediately knew what he was talking about. Go on. So I'm looking at it. It's looking at me. But then it stands up. Stands up? Like, like stood up, stood up? Yeah, it stands up like a person. And its front arms were like long. And it's gaunt looking. And then it turns runs and jumps the neighbor's fence. The fence is like, what, 15, 20 feet tall? Yeah, and it was like seven, eight feet tall. What do you think that was? Just very nonchalant. So I yell into the phone. Oh my God, you saw a skinwalker. What's that? What's a, what'd you say? What? A skinwalker? What's a skinwalker? Before I send you a picture of it, I'm gonna need you to draw it for me. Draw it, send it to me, and I'll send you what it looks like. Let's send it at the same time because I wanna see if if it's what I think it is. My brother is super artistic, so I give him a second and he draws this and sends it to me. So he said, this is what it started out as. And then it stood up to this. So then I send him this. I send him this and he says, yeah, that's it. That's what it is. Huh. Huh? That's all you got to say to that? Well, I mean, that's weird. I've never heard of that. Huh, how about that? All right, well, I'm going to bed. And he hung up. That's a very underwhelming reaction for finding out you just saw a skinwalker or even like not even finding out what it was, but seeing that thing and you're just like, mm, that's weird. Kind of sounds like my brother a little bit though. Um, very much an underreactor to things. So I'm familiar with it, but also like, I can't believe that he drew a picture of exactly what it was and then she sent him that photo and he's like yeah that's what it was if that's not solid evidence that that's what he saw and not just like some weird animal because at first i was like oh like glowing eyes like oscar's eyes glow in the dark that's what animals like do but like when light shines off of his eyes he has red glowing eyes that's what happens to dogs or animals or whatever you know but the greasy the human face the <laughs> that's weird this girl is obviously like very well versed in like the paranormal and her whole like TikTok is about ghostly stuff. So it's so crazy to me that her brother like has never like heard of or seen a skinwalker before. But it's also so crazy that he just had such an underwhelming reaction to it. I don't know, he's just lucky that it didn't try and hurt him. Like the fact that it went and jumped over a fence, which also jumping over a fence that high, 
not very animal-like or human-like, but that guy is so lucky that nothing happened to him. Our final TikTok of the video is by the user Magical Poltergeist, and their home security system caught something absolutely terrifying. Okay, so I've definitely shown at least one or two of this couple's videos before, but this one, I have a lot of questions and a lot of concerns. I guess first and foremost, I'm a little confused why there's tables upside down in the first clip. Um, what's going on there? But it says, my wife and I got into an argument for no reason. After she left our room, something left our room. I thought it was dust, but it appeared from nowhere. It does look like an orb, like, I hate to be one of those people that's like, orb, although <laughs> I am one of those people, but the fact that it's like just one, like if there's dust, it's like everywhere. It's just one, you know? And it could be a bug, but it's not bug shaped. So they definitely caught something, but honestly, for the beginning of this video, I think the most concerning thing is the fact that, again, there's tables upside down, like for what reason? But let's move past that. The next part of this video is what gets me. In this next clip, we see that the rocking chair starts rocking on its own, which I will never have a rocking chair for this reason specifically. I would have to move out of my house if I saw it rocking on its own. Then we see the camera kind of like zigzag around a bit. It moves down and then moves back up because a pillow tips over on the couch and then another one completely falls off the couch and just when you think it's about to end, a table comes shooting across the living room. Like what is happening here? What do you have in your house guys? I just had so much going on all at once. It's just a lot. And the fact that they have so many other videos of stuff like this happening, but this one specifically, I'm just like, what's happening? There's, uh, there's so much to comprehend. I, again, would have moved out by now. <laughs> Props to these people who live in haunted apartments and houses and will stay the night at an Airbnb that has a secret dungeon in it. Crazy. But anyway, makes for good entertainment. So anyway, <laughs> That is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought of all those videos. I think this might be the craziest compilation of TikToks yet. And if you find any terrifying, scary, crazy TikToks of your own, feel free to tag me in them so I can include them in the next installment of terrifying TikToks. My links are down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, click the subscribe button down below and turn my post notifications so you never miss a video. I post every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for spooky Sundays. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week. Bye.